Pretty awesome, right? Screen mirroring your iPhone, any iPhone, by the way, to your MacBook, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. It doesn't matter what MacBook you have. It's going to work with literally any MacBook you have. It's really awesome. It can do tons with this. You can actually use your camera. So let me just take a photo and let me show you exactly how it works. So let's say I've taken a photo. I actually I can actually zoom in. You can see it on my computer. It's, it's just gonna go full screen if you're gonna zoom in. It's really awesome. You can play games if you want to. Let me just let me just glance and let me show you how it works. By the way, if the if the game if, if the game is full screen, it's gonna go full full screen on your laptop as well. It's really awesome. You can actually uh, you can you can actually see how quick this actually is. It's really awesome. By the way, if you if you play Clash of Clans like me, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, if you are a fellow Clasher, it's really awesome. Let me show. Let me focus on the iPhone so you can actually see how quick this is. If you have a dynamic island, it's going to show you the screen mirroring on your dynamic island. If you don't have it, that's completely okay. This will work with literally any iPhone and any MacBook you have. It's completely free. Everything is built into it and just awesome. So let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to my channel. Be sure to subscribe, by the way, tons of great content. Okay, so to mirror your iPhone, any iPhone, by the way, to your MacBook, any MacBook, by the way, it's really simple. As I said before, you don't have to download anything. It's just everything is built into it and it takes a couple seconds to do it. It's completely free and wireless, so yeah. Okay, so there's a couple things we need. There's a couple things you need to do on your iPhone before we actually get into it. So the first thing is gonna be into your settings page. Inside the settings, go over to your Wi-Fi connection and make sure your make sure your and make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. By the way, don't worry about it if you don't have home Wi-Fi. I'm gonna show you another way, so don't worry about it. So now you're number one. Make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. Okay, let's say you don't have home Wi-Fi. You can actually use your mobile data. Um, I have. You can actually use your mobile data to enable the mobile data and then you can actually use the mobile hotspot. So in this case, I'm not going to use my mobile hotspot. But again, if you want to know how you can enable the mobile hotspot, really simple. Go back to your settings. It should be under the mobile data. I don't have it because my mobile, my phone is not on the service at the moment. So it's not going to show me, but it should show, but, but it should be different for you. The hotspot should be under the mobile data settings, but be careful with the mobile data, depending on where you live, depending on what data plan you have, this might cost you credit. So just be careful with the mobile data, just go with the home Wi-Fi. it's free, it's homey, and uh, it's just, it's free. I mean, you don't have to worry about mobile data or, or credits or anything like that. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make sure my iPhone is connected to my home Wi-Fi, and that is pretty much all I have to do on my iPhone. Nothing else, you don't have to do anything else, okay? So now let's jump to the laptop and let's make sure the laptop and our iPhone are both on the same connection. So we have to make sure the MacBook and your iPhone are on the exact same connection for this to work, okay? So let's just dive right into it. All right, so as I said before, we have to do the exact same thing on your MacBook. So the first thing you wanna do on your MacBook, if you haven't set it up, the first thing you wanna do is head over to your settings page or click on the Wi-Fi settings on your laptop. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your MacBook is head over to your control center. Now inside the control center, you got a couple options. You have the Wi-Fi, you have the Bluetooth, you have the eardrop, eardrop actually, not the eardrop, it's eardrop, <laughs> my bad. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do inside the control center is to make sure your make sure your Wi-Fi is connected. So let me just go into your Wi-Fi settings and it's gonna show you the options for the Wi-Fi. So let's say if you don't, let's say if you're not using, so let's go into the Wi-Fi settings so I can show you exactly how it works if you, if you don't know. All right, so as you can see inside your Wi-Fi settings, I got my home Wi-Fi, the MacBook is connected to my home Wi-Fi at the moment, as you can see. That is also connected on my iPhone, which I'll show you later, don't worry about it. But let's say if you don't wanna use your home Wi-Fi, you could always use your mobile hotspot. It should be visible here, so just make sure your MacBook and your iPhone is connected to the exact same connection. So and that's pretty much it, so I'm just gonna quit the, uh, so I'm just gonna quit the settings and that's all you have to do on your MacBook. That's literally everything you have to do on your MacBook. All right, so as you can see, I'm ready. My iPhone and my MacBook are connected to the exact same connection. That is my home Wi-Fi, by the way. Okay, so on your iPhone, the first thing you wanna do is head over to your control center. If you head over to your control center, you, ha you will have the option for the screen mirror right next to the focuses or your brightness. So just click on that. It's gonna show you your laptop 
It's going to show you your MacBook. What's the name of your MacBook? In this case, it's Rizzy Super's MacBook Air. By the way, that reminds me, be sure to subscribe, okay? It's, it's, it's going to mean a lot to me. Okay, so once you're into the screen mirroring and you see your laptop, by the way, if you don't see your laptop, that means, that means your MacBook is not on the same network. So it needs to be on the exact same network or exact same Wi-Fi for this to work. So all you have to do is just click on that. It's going to load and bam, we are connected, fam. It, it took a couple seconds to do this. It's really smooth. You can play YouTube. You can, it's really smooth. You can play YouTube if you want to. You can watch videos. You can even use your Spotify if you want to. It's just it's really smooth. And you can even use your Spotify if you want to. It, it just works awesome. It's, it's, it doesn't have any lag and the quality is absolutely next level. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about that. It's definitely 1440p. Definitely. I mean, that's not even the resolution, but yeah, that's, the quality is absolutely next level. I mean, if you look at it, it's just exactly like iPhone. So you can watch videos, you can play games if you want to. So let me, let me just uh, open up a Clash of Clans. It's gonna go full screen as well, which is really awesome. And you can play games if you want, to, and you can play games of your choice. So in this case, I'm, I'm playing Clash of Clans. It's really HD. I mean, let me just show you exactly how it looks. It looks exactly like I have on my iPhone. It just doesn't have any lag, so I can play with the, uh, you know, with, with the ease of my mind. I, I don't like lag, to be honest with you. Nobody likes lag, so it's really awesome. You can even use your camera if you want to. So let me just um, let me just take a photo of my uh, keyboard. So let me just take a photo of keyboard. And you can open the uh, open the photo. You can zoom in on the photo, and it will work exactly um, on your uh, on your on your MacBook. It's really simple. It's really awesome. I've used this feature for a lot of things. A lot of a lot of things to demonstrate something for presentations or projects or something like that. It is just useful. So let me know what you will be using this for, and that's pretty much all you have to do to stop this. It's really simple. If you have iPhone 14 Pro Max or 14 Pro, you can actually click on the dynamic island. It's gonna it's gonna give you the option to stop the screen mirroring, or you could actually just go into your control center, into your screen mirroring tab, and you can click on stop mirroring, and it will automatically stop it for you. So let me just click on that stop, and there you go, it stopped. So if I want to do it again, go to screen mirroring, click on your MacBook or whatever whatever you make with, or whatever the name of your MacBook is, and it's it's done. Really really simple it does it doesn't take it doesn't take more than a couple seconds to actually mirror your phone to your laptop it's really simple so that's pretty much it for the video i'm riz and i hope you enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video please leave a like comment down below and be sure to subscribe okay if you want to join the channel if that's something you want to do to support me or the channel links will be in the description box below that's that's it for the video i'll catch you in the next one peace out